Grocery stores are going months and in some cases years in between inspections. In July, non investigates exposed significant lapses in state inspections with more than 40 local stores going more than a year without one. Our report led to a former inspector coming out as a whistleblower and now investigative reporter Christopher Heath is digging into what now might be changing. This Osceola County Walmart went more than a year between state inspections. We asked why. Suddenly, three inspections in less than four months. Well, that's kind of surprising right there because, you know, it's important to, to check their products. We caught up with Israel Rodriguez as he and his kids were heading inside. It's the most important thing to be clean. You know, it's safety for, for us and it's safety for the children. That was the reaction we got in July when we started asking questions. Our initial report led a retired state inspector to contact us, saying in his 17 years the state had shifted from enforcement to compliance and that there were now far fewer state inspectors on the job. In fact, in 2011, Florida had 126 grocery store inspectors. Now, there's just 92 budgeted positions, 82 inspectors, and 10 vacancies. Just as we were preparing to take these concerns to the Florida Department of Agriculture, a new leader was elected to oversee the agency. So we put the questions to her. Is that acceptable to start looking the other way and doing everything you can to keep the doors open? Of course not. Uh, you know, we have an obligation to uh, make sure that the food is safe. Nikki Freed has been on the job for two months. She wants to almost double the number of inspectors checking grocery stores, convenience stores, and food marts from 92 to 160. We are doing, uh, you know, everything we can to, make, you know, get past the, the fast few years of the buildup uh, and then start going through. I mean, yearly is, is ideal and we're going to work on trying to get there. One of the things that will need to be addressed is what some have called the overuse of stop sale orders. Records obtained by Nine Investigates show this Sedano supermarket on Curry Ford had 262 stop sale and stop use orders from 2012 to 2015 for things like food at the wrong temperature and observed insects. The 262 orders are the most in Orange County in that time. Then in 2016, the store was given a pass rating by the state. It then went a full year between inspections, eventually earning met inspection requirements in 2017 and again in 2018. Commissioner Freed says stores need to know the state is watching and the public needs to know stores are safe. It's definitely not okay to be turning a blind eye because people rely on this. Christopher Heath, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. The Florida legislature will have to approve the increase in the number of inspectors. It was also the legislature that cut the number of inspectors in 2012.